In 1969, just off Norway's coast in the North Sea, the discovery of the Ekofisk oil field changed everything. It marked a turning point in Norway's history, one that would transform a small fishing nation into one of the world's wealthiest countries. After Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Norway's oil revenue surged, reaching 125 billion euros by the end of 2022, five times higher than the previous year. All oil revenues are funneled into the government pension fund, which by 2025 had become the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world, holding $1.7 trillion in assets. But just as oil reshaped Norway once before, a new discovery may rewrite its future again. In the country's southwest, geologists have uncovered phosphate deposits valued at an estimated $24 trillion, a resource that could make Norway not just wealthy, but potentially the richest nation in human history. Phosphate is one of the most critical resources in the modern world, and yet most people barely think about it. Roughly 90% of all mined phosphate is used to produce fertilizers, essential for global agriculture. These fertilizers are crucial for growing crops that feed billions of people. But phosphate's importance extends far beyond farming. Phosphate is a key component in one type of lithium-ion battery known as LFP. Demand for these batteries and for the phosphate they rely on is growing rapidly. Phosphate is also used in solar panels, semiconductors, and advanced electronics. The challenge is that phosphate isn't evenly distributed across the planet. In some places, like Western Europe, soils are naturally rich in phosphorus, but much of the world isn't so lucky. Around 30% of the world's arable land, including Australia, New Zealand, much of Africa, and large portions of Asia, suffers from phosphorus-poor soils. In these regions, fertilizers aren't just useful, they are absolutely essential to maintain yields and feed growing populations. Only a small number of nations control the vast majority of the world's phosphate reserves. Morocco leads with 50 billion tons of reserves, followed by China, 3.8 billion, Egypt, 2.8 billion, Tunisia, 2.5 billion, and Russia, 2.4 billion. These few countries control the entire global supply chain and with it, the fate of global food security. For Europe, phosphate dependency is a growing strategic concern. The European Union has virtually no domestic phosphate reserves and relies almost entirely on imports to sustain its agriculture and industry. In fact, phosphate has been officially classified by the EU as a critical raw material highlighting its vulnerability in global supply chains. Most of the phosphate imported into Europe comes from just a handful of exporters, with China playing an increasingly dominant role. As of 2025, China controls roughly 30% of the global phosphate market, acting not only as a producer but also as the largest processor of raw phosphate rock into finished fertilizers. In 2021, China began restricting phosphate exports to safeguard food security for its population of 1.4 billion. But those initial measures were only the beginning. With each passing year, from 2021 through 2025, export quotas were further tightened. By 2025, China's phosphate exports had dropped by nearly 60% compared to pre-restriction levels. Russia, another major supplier, has also reduced exports to Europe due to sanctions and trade restrictions imposed in response to its aggression against Ukraine. For the EU, which imports both raw phosphate and finished fertilizers, growing dependence on external suppliers poses not only economic but also geopolitical risks. Quietly, it has become one of the EU's most significant vulnerabilities. And this is where Norway sees its opportunity. In June 2023, a quiet farming region in Rogaland, southwestern Norway, suddenly found itself at the center of global attention. Geological surveys conducted by the Anglo-Norwegian company Norg Mining 
revealed the largest phosphate deposit ever discovered. Initial estimates suggest reserves of at least 70 billion tons, nearly matching the entire previously known global total of 71 billion tons. Norway now has the potential to single-handedly meet global phosphate demand for the next 50 years. For Morocco, this is bad news. Phosphates make up nearly a quarter of its exports. If Norway doubles global reserves, prices will fall and Morocco's economy will take the hit. But a lot more than phosphate has been discovered. In the same region, Norg Mining uncovered vast reserves of other strategically critical materials, including titanium and vanadium, both essential for the aerospace, electronics, and defense industries. Currently, BRICS countries China, Russia, South Africa, and Brazil control nearly all global titanium and vanadium production. Norway now has a chance to position itself as a reliable alternative for the US and EU breaking their reliance on politically volatile suppliers. Phosphate is indispensable, but mining it comes with a heavy environmental price. For every ton of phosphoric acid produced, five tons of toxic waste are left behind. These radioactive wastes, known as gyp stacks, form massive and constantly growing mountains of waste. In Florida alone, there are 25 such stacks, some containing elevated levels of radon and uranium. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, considers them too radioactive to bury, leaving them exposed, towering over the landscape. And it's not just an eyesore for tourists. In 2016, a massive sinkhole opened beneath one of the gyp stacks in Polk County, Florida, sending hundreds of millions of gallons of wastewater directly into the aquifer, contaminating the region's drinking water. But mining's challenges extend far beyond Florida. As global phosphate ore quality declines, more energy is needed for extraction, releasing greater quantities of cadmium, uranium, and other heavy metals into the environment. This creates an entirely different problem for Europe. While Norway's newfound deposits offer the continent a chance at resource independence, the EU's strict carbon and environmental regulations pose major obstacles. But it's not just about the EU. Norway itself is an active player in the green transition, committed to achieving carbon neutrality. By 2030, Norway aims to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 50 to 55% compared to 1990 levels. This is a striking goal for one of the world's major oil exporters. But Norway's climate strategy is built on a distinctive model. It extracts oil and gas primarily for export, while systematically reducing domestic emissions. In 1990, Norway became one of the earliest nations to establish a carbon tax, leading the way in carbon regulation. Norway was the first to electrify part of its offshore oil platforms, a move that once seemed unthinkable. Onshore, the shift has been even faster. By April 2025, 97% of new car purchases were electric, putting Norway on track to become the world's first fully electric vehicle society. Hydropower plays a key role in making this possible. Thanks to its mountain rivers, Norway generates over 23,500 kilowatt hours of electricity per person each year, one of the highest levels in the world. In comparison, the US generates around 12,700 kilowatt hours per person. Hydropower accounts for 90% of Norway's electricity, providing a stable and clean foundation for the country's energy system. Beneath the North Sea, Norway is quietly building what could become one of the world's most unusual exports, space to store carbon. The country hopes to bury not only its own CO2, but also import emissions from abroad, turning carbon capture into a new source of revenue. And the idea isn't as far-fetched as it might seem. Over the past 30 years, Norway has already safely injected 25 million tons of CO2, proof that the Longship project could scale globally. 
However, despite its progress, new challenges are emerging for Norway. As it moves to develop its vast phosphate reserves, the question is how to keep processing low carbon. Norge Mining has pledged to integrate carbon capture technologies into its future phosphate processing facilities. The world's richest phosphate deposit, vast rare metal reserves, and a global race for new supply chains are all within Norway's grasp. But large-scale extraction brings serious challenges, radioactive waste, a heavy carbon footprint, and growing political risks. With $24 trillion hanging in the balance, Norway's every decision may reshape not just its own future, but the balance of power far beyond its borders.